You know exactly what a Karen is. Don't pretend like y'all don't. And we all have one in every neighborhood. Tell me that ain't the truth. Oh, Karens, 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 Karens of the world. Y'all need to mind your business. Mind your business, keep on walking, go home to your seven to eight cats, and just chill during your retirement. Don't stress yourself out. You're gonna get a heart attack for no reason. Okay, what is a Karen, for those who don't know? Typically, a Karen is a Caucasian older woman who just makes everything their business. They follow the rules, the policies, the laws. You know, they're those nosy people that like look out the window to see what everyone else is doing, making sure that no one's doing anything wrong. And once they see it, they have to storm out and start yelling like a psycho. Yeah, those are Karens. I wanted to watch a video that Funny Vines has posted. This video is called, Try Not To Laugh, Funny Karen Freakouts. Listen. I don't play this little game about trying not to laugh shit. If I'm a laugh, I'm a laugh. If I wanna talk my shit, I'm gonna talk my shit. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get right to it. Are y'all ready? Cause I am. Here we go. <laughs> and that's usually how they dress. <laughs> Stop it. No, are you just leaving? Get off my car. Get off her car. Get off of her car. Girl. Move on up, Krista. Krista, don't move up. Come on. You're sitting on her car. I'm not sitting on her You know that what you're doing is illegal? You're on other people's property. What is wrong with you, lady? I'm leaning on it. Krista. There's two spots open right there. You really hate your life, don't you? To be hate you know, I love my life when I have my brand new grandbaby in there who we're trying to take over. Okay, get your grandbaby then. What the fuck is wrong with you? Get out of the way. From what it looks like, the people that are filming, they they were about to get that spot first. From what it looks like. For you to tell whoever it is to come over this way, that means they're behind them. What are you doing? Give them the spot. What the hell are you doing? Your right, right, right spot. Now. Get off her car. Please back up, Krista. This is your right spot. Why? Spot. Why? Get in your damn car! Stop getting, don't sit on her car! Your ass is grass. Do you understand? That, hold on, before we start this one, that lady was dumb because there were two spots. There were two spots. Did y'all see that? When the first car pulled out and then the second car was pulling out. You're so dumb. Karen, you are so dumb. <laughs> you wasted your time and energy on that. And if you I'm don't, you look out for those cops. Alright, I will. I'll be looking at this. Go ahead, put me on social media. You're a little pop. Seriously? Hold on. You're yelling at some teenagers. You said we are in shelter in place. But look at you though. You are not in shelter in place. <laughs> you are outdoors. You are outside right now. Go ahead, put me on social media. You're a little pop. Seriously? What? Seriously, I call the cops. I can't. What? Okay. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Call the cops, lady. Hey. Okay. They it can't feed their family. It doesn't matter. He's out it here. It does matter. He's out here trying to make a living. I don't want him in my neighborhood. You go to Indian Wells, you don't see lawlessness. It doesn't matter. They it call doesn't matter. Break down the quality of life. You're not a police it, officer. It, you're not a police officer. Excuse me. I'm a you citizen. Let, I, have a right I have a right to speak. I have a right to speak. And so do they. And so do they. The cops are coming. Go so ahead. The cops. the cops are coming. You need let to stop them harassing come this man. Yeah. That's harassing. You need to stop harassing him. Stop harassing him. Karen. Harassing him. Karen. This is our property. Stop harassing him. You live in India. That is not your property. Do you see that man on a sidewalk? That is a sidewalk that he is allowed to be on. That is not your property, lady. Karen. Leave the man alone. <laughs> No, I'm not I've, moving it. I've been getting mad, yeah. What? You're calling the police because I took your spot? <laughs> okay. Oh. I can't take a parking spot? What, what are you parking a handicapped spot? 
This is not a handicap spark. Okay, oh, there is a spot. Like she blocked you in, girl. So she wants your spot, but she's got you blocked in. I don't understand. Right there, park in the spot right next to it. Tell me to shut up again. Tell me to shut up again. Look at this lady. Miserable. Miserable. Look at her. <laughs> You're a devil. Get away from me. Oh. Get away from me. He put his hands on me. Oh. Now these are the psychos. Okay, you have the the annoying Karen, and then you have the privileged Karen, and then you have these psychotic Karens. And this one looks like a psychotic Karen. So let's watch. Oh, <laughs> but that man looks like a Carl. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? This is like a Walmart incident. Where are they at? They're at McDonald's or some. This is like a Walmart situation. Here we go. Dang, I want to know what else happened. Look at this lady. Go down. <laughs> what are you doing? She got her running shoes on, chasing after a teenage boy on his skateboard. Okay, I get it. He's not supposed to be skateboarding there. I get it. But just move on. Keep working out, girl. Why is it? It doesn't affect you in any type of way. You're just stressing yourself out. We got a Karen. We got we got a wild Karen here. Sure enough, <laughs> we sure do. Look at that Karen. Look at her. Break an ankle. <laughs> <laughs> do you want me to leave or not? Do you want me to leave or not? You're blocking my way. We're gonna start to leave. Alright. Hey, but she is fit though. I give her that. She is fit for being as old as she is. What? You should just find your. Yeah, we've had a wild Karen right here. Oh, Karen in the wild. This is amazing. I know. Man, there's physical activity is important for their mental health. Physical activity? There's a cop right there if you want to tell them. You were going that wrong, weren't you? Yeah, you can just continue running. Man, it's really not working. Like, I don't understand. What is she doing? Power struggle that I'm witnessing here. Look at her. This is nuts. I know. I never thought I would, like... Me winning the wild. Yeah, I know. She must have been a cop. Look at her stance, chin up in the air and everything. Actually, encounter one. I don't know why you can't like make a shake. Just give me a refund. Uh oh. Your service sucks. Why are you demanding McDonald's? I don't know what I'm talking about. Get some hustle with it. An angry, an angry customer. I a mini shake. Just give me a refund. You know you should have it. I'm sitting at the door. You should have the order. Right? Thank you. No, it's not fun. No, it's not. I'm literally like running for my life, ready to pack my down. You. Girl, you got your card. Just go. Okay? Give me Literally, you guys suck. God damn. People are so angry nowadays. I thought I had issues. This is not your yard. This is not your yard. It's not! It is! This little, tiny little area is... I'm breaking the law, how? Okay, I feel a little bit bad. I feel a little bit bad about this Karen because her voice is shaking. So I feel like she's an old lady who is actually nervous. Oh, I feel bad for her a little bit. Actually, he's a service dog. <laughs> A service dog doesn't have to be on a leash. Really? I didn't know that. You can do whatever you want. I have you on a 
<laughs> okay. Oh, um, so they take away my dogs? Cause I'm making my dogs happy, you idiot. You're such an idiot. I'm making my dogs happy. You have nothing better to do. You're just an unhappy lady. You have nothing better to do. Okay, look. They take their dog off leash. <sighs> you know, they take their dog off leash right in here and play fetch with him? Yes, they do. I see him. So do they. Just walk away. Just walk You're away. You're such an idiot. I have a Karen living next door to me. No lie. I promise you. My neighbor, my, my neighbor straight to the right, is a Karen. Since I've moved here, I'm young. So automatically my neighbors thought I didn't own the house. And I know this because my parents used to come and do yard work for me while I was at work. And they would ask my mother if she was the owner of the house. Being nosy. Being fucking nosy. Because seeing me come to my house in my driveway every day was not enough to show them that this is my house. So they wanted to know where I worked and everything. Like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? And Karen over there, she would always try to find any type of city policy that I was not following. Like, for example, I left my recycling bin and my garbage bin in the front of my house in front of the garage. I did not know that we can't do that. But sure enough, we get ticketed. A window in the front had a screen ripped, got ticketed. Oh, there's more, there's more situations, but, but it's too long of a list for me to put in this video. But I know exactly who's been calling. That little biatch over there. <laughs> What does she do? Karen, no public dumping. Oh. Stop, Karen. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. So. Oh, okay, well, you guys. Okay, take pictures of people, but they don't have to give you permission. So, good to know. Do you want to delete it now, or do you want me to talk to someone about pursuing something with you? Since it's illegal what you just did. You can you can talk to security if you want. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Be oh, I'm not calling you. You can, you can tell me what I look like. Let's That's right, girl. Tell her. That sounds good. Tell Karen. Picture of you. Very nice. So how is someone gonna tell another person that what they're doing is illegal and to prove a point, they're gonna do the same damn thing? Oh, Karen. Not to security, and they will be out there shortly. Everybody doesn't show your way; it's the wrong way. This is the year of we get offended <laughs> and you violate my civil rights. To demonstrate sexual behavior on a bu uh, bus or a train, I believe is against the law. That goes for men, that goes for women, that goes for dogs. Dogs and cats are not even allowed on the subway. Oh, she's cute. I like her. <laughs> I like old people. I used to work at a senior home and I love old people. Even the rude ones, even the racist ones, even the jerks, even the dicks. Like, I love them. And something about them is like adorable. Like, I want to pinch their cheeks. And then, like her, for example, the way she's talking, she's talking nice and calm and she's trying to teach a lesson. It's cute. I don't know. So, see, what do you do you without yourself? Right? I promise you this. Continue to disregard and disobey the laws of the MTA. Eventually, you will get a ticket. It's that simple. Or against the law. I did not say that. I said demonstrating rude behavior on a subway is not. I think it is against the law. Lude, I, I think she's so cute. Lude and I like her. Behavior, lewd and lascivious behavior. And go ahead, without your little. See what I have in my favor. I know the laws. 
Yeah. Okay, girl. So you can whip out your little camera and go take it to a lawyer and show them and ask them. Mm. Say, look, I was on the subway and some woman got upset because I'm starting to nuzzle my girlfriend in front of her. I no, that's not what you did there. I did. I went like this. Why do you feel the need to... So it was like some lesbian action, I guess. <laughs> I guess the lesbian hugged her girlfriend and it offended her. You know, you have to, we have to understand also, these older folks come from a generation where public display of affection is like, was not much back then. And especially, especially homosexuals. So they're uncomfortable. Now, should we live our lives for them? Absolutely not. But I, but I do respect the fact that she's sitting there and she's actually communicating her thoughts and talking in a calm demeanor. I can respect that. I'll have that convers conversation with her and hopefully we can just talk about it. It's not gonna change anything, but if she's giving you the respect, give it in return. Other people's just, you see now, basically what you're doing is you're looking for approval from other people, which tells me, see, what you do is your business. But you don't have to flaunt it in my face any more than, say I like to blast music. Do you see me blasting music in your ear? It just calls me inconsiderate. In other words, if you want your mind I can to ramble on, ma'am. You're just going over no. my head. I don't know if you're trying to teach me something. No, what I'm saying to you, okay. it pays to be considerate in right. this world. Yeah. If you choose to be inconsiderate, like you're doing right now. You, it's the truth. If you choose to be in We're literally, we're not arguing with you. We're not talking I'm back not with you. You can stop talking. No, I can't stop talking. As long as you're going to continue <laughs> to photograph That's me, true, I'm girl. continue to say how Say I it. Feel. Then, yeah, yeah, say it, girl. say this. I'm not against gay rights. I have friends and I work with people voluntarily. I have a question. If they were a straight couple that did the same thing, would you I have a problem? I guess I would. Okay, I right. I just got through with help. No, so I'm not saying how you don't believe me. That's it for this week's video. <laughs> Let us know in the comments below if you liked that video. I did like that video. It was pretty entertaining. There's so many Karens in this world. I swear to you there is. They seem to mind their business. But that last lady that at the end, I liked her. Tell me what you thought about this video, y'all. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.